single home on the edge of Little Rock's Quapaw Quarter has entertained presidents, Arkansas political dignitaries, and so many more. It's a beautiful testament to the craftsman and the craftsmanship here in Arkansas during the 20th century. Hi, I'm Mandy Shoptaw with Arkansas Heritage, and it is my honor today to present to you the March 2021 Arkansas Historic Preservation Program Sandwiching in History Tour. Join us as we explore the Foster Robinson House. Come on. This beautiful home is the Foster Robinson House, named for the original builder, Henry Foster, and one of its most prominent residents, Joseph T. Robinson. Originally from Wisconsin, Mr. Foster and his family were involved in the lumber industry. He arrived in Arkansas in 1901 and set up a successful business in Malvern, where he served as president of the Wisconsin and Arkansas Lumber Company, the Arkansas Land and Lumber Company, and the Malvern and Freed Valley Railroad. So needless to say, he was a busy and successful guy. And just like other successful Arkansans of his time, he decided to move here to the heart of Little Rock to show off his wealth by building a really impressive home. Designed by renowned architect Frank Gibb, the home is described as an adaptation of the English Tudor style. You'll note craftsman elements, like the locally sourced fouche granite used on the exterior, and the stick style architecture denoted by the angular shapes of the gables of the home. The chimneys on the north and the south of the home showcase two different materials. They're granite from the ground to the roof line, then transition to brick. For us history buffs, there have been very few changes made to the structure over the years. And thanks to the high quality materials used in building it, this place has been able to survive the test of time. Now, you may be looking at this and wondering, what is this? Well, this is a National Historic Landmark, and this site is certainly deserving of all of its recognition on the National Register of Historic Places. The Arkansas Historic Preservation Program's National Register survey historian Ralph Wilcox explains what this designation means. Foster Robinson House um, is on the National Register and has been designated a National Historic Landmark. The National Register of Historic Places uh, is strictly an honorary designation on that house. It does not put any restrictions on the property as far as what the property owner can do with uh, renovation work or restoration work. It is important for uh, Senator Joe T. Robinson, who was a very important Arkansas politician who lived in that house for many, many years. And so it's, it's a very important house, not only to the citizens of Little Rock and Arkansas, but the nation as a whole. As beautiful and stately as the exterior is, the woodwork on the interior of the home plays an important role in telling the story of this residence. Mr. Foster took two years curating the wood that would make up his home's interior. Today, the Foster Robinson House serves as a wedding and event venue, but mainly as an escape room business. And lucky for us, the owners have graciously allowed us inside for a look at some of the handcrafted elements that continue to amaze. Here's Deanna Fleming, the owner, to tell us more. Many years ago, I owned a catering company and we were catering down the street at um, another historic home. And the owner there pointed out that this beautiful home was for sale and that I ought to go look at it. And I did, and we just fell in love with it. So the original owner were the Fosters and they were lumber people from up north. And so they literally picked the wood for each of the rooms. So the wood is exquisite. It's just a beautiful pattern in it and so forth. Well then they sold the home to Joe T. Robinson. Then the Robinsons had the home until in the 70s and they sold the home to uh, Robert Johnson. And he owned the home for several years and then sold it to 21st Century Club which turned it into Hope Lodge, which is an amazing charity that still exists. So they sold the home to me because the maintenance of the home had gotten so high that they realized they could help more people by um, building a new facility. And so we bought it and got it zoned to do weddings and events. 
and then eventually we moved away from the weddings we still do weddings but now we've turned it into mystery mansion escape room we've been doing that for five years we love living here uh, not everybody would choose to live where they work for the most part I love sharing the house with the people I think these old homes are so pretty that they really need to be shared with the public Passing through the entry, you can't help but notice the door and glass elements all frosted with a beautiful fern leaf design. More frosted glass is found on the doors leading from the foyer to the music room. People ooh and all over all the stained glass. Uh, we have two pocket doors that have beautiful stained glass emblems in them. Mrs. Foster felt that music was essential to individual growth and community advancement and was active in the Little Rock Musical Coterie and both the Arkansas and National Federation of Music Clubs. In tribute to this legacy, the Arkansas Federation of Music Clubs honored Mrs. Foster in 1976 with a bicentennial plaque that can still be seen at the home. The broad three-rung oak staircase is accented by impressive urn-shaped balustrades which support the artfully curved handrails. Paneling on the side of the landing adds a rich tone to the foyer. The entrance to the living room is flanked by three Tuscan-style oak columns, each made from a single tree trunk. At one end of the living room is an ingle nook, and you can't help but pause for a moment to take in the large copper cylindrical hood over a small fireplace. I love the copper fireplace in the main room. I think that's gorgeous. I pretty much love all the fireplaces though. Uh, we have uh, six fireplaces and they're all unique and different. Attention to detail is seen floor to ceiling, from the trim to the exposed beams. But perhaps the element that best shows Mr. Foster's pride in his work are the sliding doors between the living room and the dining room. The wood graining is commonly referred to as curly pine, and reportedly, Mr. Foster asked workers at his lumber yards to watch for pine with this special burled effect. In fact, you'd have to imagine it was the grandeur of this place that attracted the interest of then Arkansas Senator Joseph T. Robinson, who purchased the home from the widow of Henry Foster in 1929. Now the tour today is about this beautiful home behind me, the Foster Robinson House. But I would be remiss if I didn't just brush over Senator Robinson's CV for just a second because it is quite impressive. In 1892, Robinson graduated from the University of Arkansas. Three years later, he was elected to the state legislature and received his law degree from the University of Virginia. 1902, U.S. House of Representatives. 1912. 23rd Governor of Arkansas, 1913 to 1937 U.S. Senator, where he racked up a stack of accolades. So it was in this last role, as one of the Senate's most influential members, that brings us back to the Foster Robinson House. In June of 1936, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Eleanor Roosevelt were visiting Arkansas to open the centennial celebration at the invitation of their good friend, Senator Robinson. Naturally, the Robinsons opened their beautiful home for a dinner party given in honor of the president. In 1949, Harry S. Truman came to Arkansas at the invitation of Governor Sid McMath. Mrs. Robinson, who was postmistress of Little Rock, hosted them at her home. Here's a famous photo of Truman with McMath and some of their army buddies marching through downtown Little Rock. We hope you've enjoyed our tour here of the Foster Robinson House. We'd like to thank Deanna Fleming and the Mystery Mansion team for quite literally opening the doors for us so we can get a behind the scenes look at this beautiful National Register property. If you'd like to learn more about the Arkansas Historic Preservation Program, check us out at ArkansasPreservation.com. We'll premiere our next Sandwiching in History, Pinnacle Mountain State Park, at noon on the first Friday of April on Facebook and YouTube. We hope to see you then.